here and today we have another car vlog. I am on my way. Well, first of all, let me just tell you, I was supposed to put a coffee talk out last night. However, I started my coffee talk and I had like a sugar attack. I'll get into that in a minute, but really quickly, um, we are on our way to, where are we on our way to? Um, I have to go to Lowe's and Home Depot. I'm gonna get some paint samples for the bathroom, for the upstairs bathroom, and then look at fences. Now, Tyler was supposed to go with me, but um, when he got home yesterday, however, I had a sugar attack, I wasn't feeling good, and I went to sleep, <laughs> and I woke up at like seven o'clock at night. And I'm like, dang. And then I was like, I have not filmed for my beauty channel in like days. So I don't even know if I'm going to have time to film today because it's already 2.08 in the afternoon and today's Friday. I don't know. But I need to get this stuff done. My hedger came in. So I put that together. I'll put a picture over here. And I know me. I'm going to want to like, after I'm done, I'm going to want to go out there and start using the hedger. I just like power tools. I don't know. So I'll put in like a little clip. I filmed about five minutes of my coffee talk, but I'll put a little bit in to show you. Um, like I, Bella was in the bed with me. That's the senior dog. She's either like 12 or 13. Um, she was my mom's dog, I've told you, just in case you're new. Cause some of you guys are like, you don't know how old your dog is. This is Bella. Take a Bella right there. Really quickly. Her nose is getting so dry. I've been putting this stuff I got on Amazon for it, but oh, it's so sad. But that's my bill. Take a bill. She's getting very thin. Um, I guess, you know, I mean, not thin where you can see her ribs and stuff, but she's just old. But I started, I don't know if it's the Ozempic that I'm on that's doing this. So I take it for diabetes, not for weight loss, you know. I mean, it does help with weight loss, but I take it to lower my A1C. And um, it's happening quite frequently. Now, it, what it was doing was it would, it would like literally wake me up out of my sleep. And it's done this a few times that like, lit I keep saying literally, it would be two, three in the morning and it would wake me up out of my sleep where I would feel nauseous and then shaky and then it just happened so quick, you know? So I I did my coffee, this was in the morning and I started feeling like a little nauseous. I'm like, okay, um, maybe I need to get something to eat. I typically don't eat as soon as I wake up. I have to wait a little bit to after I have my coffee then I usually make like a bagel or something like that. And I started getting like uh, nauseous. And then, so I said that in my coffee talk. I'm like, guys, I got to go downstairs. I was going to take a nauseous pill. Hold on a second. I need to go downstairs and get something because I just feel so nauseous. So let, let me, I'll be right back. Um, I was like, I feel really nauseous because I felt like overwhelming just coming. And as soon as I hit the stop button, all of a sudden I start getting that shaky. And I'm like, my sugar's dropping. And uh, sometimes when I say that, I get comments or like, well, did you check your sugar? How do you know? I've had diabetes for 29 years, almost 30 years. I was diagnosed at the age of 18. I am 47. So I know my body when my sugar's dropping. I don't have to. Now, I mean, to go to see exactly what it is, yes, then you would ch take your sugar. But I knew my sugar was dropping. And if you ever had your sugar drop, if you were diabetic, okay, you know it happens so quickly Okay, and I'm talking about a sugar attack, just not slowly your sugar dropping where you have an eight. Okay, it happens so quickly, you don't even have time or even want to go check your sugar, prick your, no, you need to get something to eat because you feel like you're gonna pass out. Like you're shaky like that where your legs are like you can't feel your legs anymore. You are going to pass out. And so I go downstairs and I'm like, okay, so I get a bowl of cereal, that's what I usually get. And I take it upstairs and I'm like this and I'm like eating. And I, I get, when my sugar's like that, I get very cranky. I can't talk to anybody, leave me alone. Like, and then, so then I ate like half of the bowl and I start feeling a little bit nauseous, but I know myself now not to eat so much because then you, you have that effect where you shock your system from it dropping real low to it, you know, 
you know what I mean? Putting too much at once. I really need to get those packets, those glucose packets. That's what I need to do. Anywho, I'm trying to think, do I want to go to Home Depot or Lowe's? I always go to Home Depot. So, you know what? I'm going to go to Lowe's and just to look. Anyway, um, and so then after that, I just, I, I didn't feel good all day. It, it, you know, when, when, when you, that, something like that does a dramatic effect on your body, right? And so I just didn't feel good all day. And then I took a nap like throughout the whole day, I kept waking up and then finally I just fell asleep and I just, I woke up to around seven and then I felt a little bit better and I'm like, wow, it's too late to film now, like for my main channel. Cause at the time I edit it and get it up, it would be late, you know, but that's been happening a lot lately. And I don't know why, because see, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, my sugar for many, many, many years has always been over 300 and above. And so if my sugar drops under 200, now that's still high, but for me, it's low because my body is so used to it being high, threes, close to 400s. And that's what it's used to. When my sugar is over 400 is when I start getting those stomach cramps and stuff. But I know my sugar is getting a little high because then I have to pee all the time. And you know, you just know your body. I didn't always take care of myself, hence why I had my heart attack and had to get stents put in, and I'm dealing with issues now, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, so Big Lots is over here. I haven't been to Big Lots in a minute either, um, but Lowe's is at the end. Here's Planet Fitness. That's where I like to join the gym, because I think they're open up 24-7, so I can go at night like when I can't sleep. Anyway, and so um, I checked my sugar this morning, it was like 140. So, and that's really good for me because usually when I check my sugar in the morning, it's like 247, three, like, you know what I mean? So um, I'm not saying my sugar was like under 100 and it was dropping, getting really low. It might have been 160, but my during the day, it's used to being a certain amount. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? Um, but I really need to, after I start feeling a little bit better, go check my sugar so I can write it down or have it on, on the machine, keep it there so I know like what it's been doing because I'm, I, I need to get better at that, that I know. So anyway, that's why, um, so I didn't finish the coffee talk and I'm not gonna add to it, it's the next day. I'll just show you a little clip like with Bella. And that's why like today, you don't, you would have had, cause it would have been yesterday you would have seen um, Tyler with me going here. So what he told me, he was like, just go look, let me know the prices. The only thing is, I'm so dumb, I never measured um, outside like how many, like the, the lengths of the fence and, the, and how many poles we need um, and how many we need. But at least if I can just find, okay, this part is how much and a pole is how much, and then I can go home, you know, and calculate it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some paint samples. Because I don't know what color I want to paint my bathroom. I want it like a cool tone, like a calming, you know. But I just don't know what color. And um, then when I get back, I'll show you what I can. I don't know how many people's in here or whatever. I'll see if I can film in here. But then when I get want to get back, I also want to talk about my latest video when I said about my husband came over with police escorts. Um, there's a few comments that I... That I, a lot of the same comments I want to address a little bit just so that you guys can have more understanding. So I'm going to do that, but let's go in here, get this over with, and uh, I'll be back. This is not the type of store I need to be in because I see so much stuff. I have some samples being made. There were way too many people over there, but I'll show you the colors and stuff when they're done. But let me just show you. First of all, I'm in what, like the lighting and then... Uh, what do you call them? Ceiling fans, because we have two living rooms and none of them have a ceiling fan. We have the dining room has a ceiling fan, but the one living room where like you see me film sometimes on my beauty channel with the dogs, um, I want to get like a ceiling fan in there. But anyway, let me show you. Oh my God, I, I, I cannot be in this type of store. I mean, this is beautiful. Like this lampshade, even this. So 
this is this is nice. Oh, really quick, these are my shoes today. These are cute, but I just don't like these specs. But they're very comfortable. Anyway, oh, look at this. That's nice too. These are nice too. These chandeliers. That one right there. That's nice. Thank you, Alan. dining room table is the ceiling fan, but I would like to have sort of a ceiling fan with a chandelier. But, I don't know. None of these, this screams like dining room. Oh, that's so pretty though. This I do not care for. This is definitely not my style. So I know where Home Depot, where the fences are. I went over there and that's the roofing. And now they have me coming outside where like gardening stuff is, but I don't see any. Maybe he's thinking I'm talking about fencing like gardening fences. So this is why I like going to like stores. I know where everything's at. Okay, I found what, I'm, I'm not talking about this type of fence, so, I know like you can get these and put like privacy slacks in it, that my friends told me about, I don't know. I'm not looking, I'm looking for like, backyard, nice fence. Okay, so this is the exact type of fence I have outside. Um, but this has to be probably, well, I'm five foot three. So this is the height that I want. And ours is like uh, a this color though. Um, but it's like 25 years old, so it, it's like dry rotted. So like if you can just do this and it comes right off. My other fence is like maybe right here. So this is the height that I want, but I don't want wooden fences. Let me unzoom you so you can see. That is not what I'm looking for. That's what I have now. And I only see just this one. Okay. Well, at least I know if I wanted each pole is $30. I don't know how much that is. Let me see. I'm going to get my paint samples. Yeah, this is all wood. And go to Home Depot. Oh wait, 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 wait. Maybe I didn't go down the right aisle. Is this what I see? Hold on. I look very red, I have sunburn on. Yeah. This is like, you would put on the front. I don't want that. Oh, here we go. Okay. So here, here, let me, let me turn you, let me turn you around. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so you have this, that's $101, and I probably need like, I don't know how many. Um, and see, these are like plastic, but they look like wood. Semi-privacy, that's because you have this. I just need for here where the dogs can't see. Like if there's cats going by my neighbor's yard, that I'd be okay with. Um, okay. And the poles are here. Each pole post would be almost 40 bucks. That's what I'm looking for. And this is the right height. This is six, six foot. Okay. Then you have this these are what these look like so you would get these and these you can't see through there's eighty dollars and then the posts are uh, 139. so this is cheaper but the posts are higher where the fence is higher in the post so it evens out okay 
I'm still gonna look at fences at Home Depot. I found these, look at these. These would be nice behind that tree where I want to film. Hmm. $7,298. And it has like, um, see behind here? They're hooked on. Now that's something I can do. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys would think. So it has the little thing, which is private, and, and then that would be my scenery. And then I can still get flowers that come up. What do you think? It's expensive though. How t 36 by 72, okay, and that's what a picture, let's see. Let's see what it would look like if you had a deck or something. Okay, I just don't know if it would be high enough. I don't know, let me know what you think. All right, let me go get my paint samples and then, um, there's a lot of people over here looking at flowers and stuff. I want to start learning how to garden. I never gardened before. So now we're inside the store. All right, I'm going to pick up my paint samples and a couple cheap, like, paint brushes. So I can just look at the, oh, look at this. Oh, I need to look at deep freezers. Oh, my God, this is so cute. This is, like, for deer hunting. All right, let me look at these because, you know, this ass. I'm going to be nice. Soon to be X wants this deep freezer. So let's see how much they are. All right, let me turn you around. I have never seen this one. People that like like deer hunting and stuff like that. That's only 300. This is the size I have. Let me see. Yeah. That's about the size that I have. Maybe a little bit longer in the dining room. So I don't want white, I want black. Let's see. They look like they're all white. That's the issue. You can't find black. So that is called the camouflage um, chest. I can just I can order that at Walmart. I just wanted to get prices. So they range from like two thirty to four fifty. But I, I want black because my appliances are all black, you know. Okay, let me get my stuff and I'll be back. I literally forgot where I parked. Like I cannot make this up. I, of course, I didn't bring a bag in, but they, they gave free bags, but they're the um, paper bags, so I was happy for that. So I got four samples. I'll show you them in the car. They're five forty-eight dollars for, and it looks like the samples got smaller. I'm almost positive. Where the hell did I park that? Oh, I'm way, way over. Um, so I got four. Now I'm going to go, and I got four, um, like, cheap. They were like $2.98 um, paintbrushes. Not the real cheap ones, because even if you put a sample off, the bristles come right off. But just so I can see what color, what I like. Oh my God, oh, that scared me. Um, I'm still gonna go to Home Depot really quickly because I just wanna get pricing on the fences. That's not my car. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Ann, I don't wanna put it in the trunk because it's hot today. Well, it's like in the 70s, it's not real hot. All right, let me get my butt in the car and I'll be back. All right, let me turn the car on. I gotta get my hand sanitizer. The thing popped up, so service in 20 days, I guess for oil change, I don't know. Okay. So I got these two colors, one's darker, one's lighter, because I'm not saying I'm gonna put this in the bathroom, but I like these for maybe the kitchen or the dining room. I don't know, I really don't know. Um, and then I got, and I don't think I like these colors either <laughs> for the bathroom, but like I got a darker green and then like a lighter green. This is more like dining room, living room colors, I know. I just don't know what I want. I mean, I would pick colors, right? Well, see, what I would do is I would pick out the shower curtain that I want, like the pretty one and all that other stuff, and then I would go like a color in there. But I have all boys. I'm the only girl. 
Lexi's never home and Lexi don't care. I mean, Lexi likes like literally, since she was a little girl, she wanted a snake for a pet. And I was like, hell no. But she has a gecko and she has a ferret and like, she likes all that type of stuff, you know? Um, she's always been like tomboyish, but girly, if that makes sense at the same time. And she just goes with the flow. She don't care if every, if the, every room in the house was black, she'd be happy. So I want to talk about a few things from my last video when I was talking about my husband and I said about paying the car insurance. So the car, his car is in my name and it's registered to me. So in the state of Jersey, um, in New Jersey, I have to have the car insurance in my name. So I can't just drop the car insurance because if he drives it, gets in a car accident, gets a ticket, guess what? It's coming to me because it's registered to me. I'm not going to take, say, bring the car back until you transfer it because it is his vehicle. And when you're petty and just because he's doing me wrong, okay, I'm not going to be petty because I don't want that bad karma. I will get my blessings for, for doing things that are right. It was his car because I never wanted to add him to my car insurance. And then he could have had everything in there because I knew that the car insurance would go up and he wouldn't help me make the difference. See, he was supposed to be paying the car insurance anyway, which he has not. Which is not that much. I'm going to be honest. That's why I'm not that upset. It really isn't that much. Like, literally. It's like 60 bucks or something like that a month. Because it's just liability and it's not like a brand new car. You know what I mean? Um... And I don't want the excuse he can't get back and forth to work. Or I don't know if he resigned. I don't know what the hell's going on. But do you know what I'm saying? So, that's what that is. Um, I, I am mailing him the title. Because, of course, the car is paid off. Um, and then he, I told him he needs to get it that day he was at my house getting some of the stuff um, I did tell him that you know he, you know he needs he needs to get that in his name and stuff so that's why I said I'm still paying the car insurance you know what I mean I just can't stop it and I just can't be petty I'm just not a petty person regardless what somebody does to me I'm just not that way I don't know why and that's what also gets me in trouble, right? Because people take your kindness for weakness, you know? But I, I just, I don't know. So that is that. You know, like I told you guys, I did tell him, next time you come, you need to let me know ahead of time because I'm not going to allow him to come in. And the next time he comes, he better get all of his stuff because he's not going to come back again. It's just not going to happen. But he basically got everything. So he may not even come back to get the rest of the stuff because the other stuff is like stupid stuff like pajama, like pajama pants, like papers that are like old. Like it's not even worth coming back to get the stuff. I mean, the only thing that would be worth coming back is the deep freezer, which he's being petty about. Do you know what I'm saying? But other than that, there's really nothing um, to come back for. And the other, the only other thing I'm going to say about it, and then that's it, is, you know, I don't want people to, like, I share what's going on in my life. I need, like, I, I tell you, some people think I share too much. But I want you guys to feel like you're not alone because there's so many of us that are going through this now or in bad relationships. Now, I'm not saying just because if you're, ma especially if you're married, and there's just a bad moment to go ahead and get divorced. That's not what I'm saying because every marriage has its ups and downs. You know, years, many years ago, um, I was wa I was listening to the radio and this guy called in and he was this is when Wendy Williams used to do radio she used to do Power 99 right was it Power 99 maybe 97.3 I don't remember it was in New York you know Power 99 is in Philly and, and it doesn't matter I used to listen to her and she um, host with Charlemagne and anyway um, a guy called in and he he was celebrating his 75th wedding anniversary. His wife was still alive. And Charlemagne and Wendy Williams asked him like, well, you know, how did you make it work for 75 years? Because Wendy Williams was saying her mom and father were still, and this was in the 90s, um, were still um, together and stuff like that. And he said it wasn't easy. He said 30 of those years, they hated each other. But they just worked it out. They stayed together. They got together when they were young. I think they were like 15 because back then, you know, you were young when you got married and stuff and started a family, you know. And um, so I'm not saying that, you know, everybody has bumps in the road. With me, and this, people might even think this is a bump in the road, but we never had a great marriage. 
never i mean when we, when we first got married like he would take his car to go like we never went together as a family so it never started in a good marriage so 11 years had never been in a good relationship and he's never helped out like I've tried, even when he acted inappropriately with other women through our whole marriage, he has cheated on me. Um, he moved in with another woman. I still took him back. I went to marriage counseling that I paid the co-pays and stuff, right? I tried and I just, I cannot do it anymore. I'm still young. I'm only 47 years old and you know, I have health issues. I don't know how much longer I have in this world. We never do. And I just choose me. Now, if we did have like a few years of like a great marriage that I knew, maybe we can go back to that, but we never had it. So for me, it's just, it's just, a, it's just not going to work. But I, I'm not saying go ahead and get a divorce just because things aren't working out. Do you know what I mean? I do believe in marriage counseling because I tried it because that way, if we were going to get a divorce, I never wanted to feel guilty to say, well, what if, what if we tried this, but we tried it, didn't work. And that's that. Let me stop running my mouth. Cause I just, I just talk. I'm a talker. All right. I'll be back. All right. So I didn't film in there. Cause let me just tell you what happened. It's a little shaky because I'm holding the phone. Every, they had everything was out of stock, so there was nothing to even show you. But I looked at the prices. The prices were just about the same. So I seen the guy walking by, and I said, excuse me. And he was like, yes. And I was asking about, like, the fences, like, and different things. And um, so he, he was by the computer thing. So he was like, well, I can look it up. See how these our guys are. <laughs> he goes, oh, I'm out of breath. He goes, I can look it up, but I'll have to charge you. And I said, I'm trying to figure out why I parked the car. And I said, first I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know like if he was telling the truth or not. And I'm like, no. I said, well, then you know, I'm a flirt too. And I'm like, well, how about, can you, can we banter? How about like, if I bring you some food, will that, you know, pay? And he was like, and then we were just talking about like, that way, um, Where did I park? I literally lost where I parked at. Then he was like, uh, well, yeah, the way prices are going up. And then he was like, oh, here's, here's my car. He was like, the inflation, he was like, pretty soon it's gonna be like $50. Like, we're talking about how much the dollar is gonna be worth. Like $50 for a loaf of bread. All right, let me get in the car, hold on. Okay. And uh, so we were just talking and stuff, so. Um, oh, I'm out of breath. So, like, you know, he was, like, flirting and different things like that. Because, you know, I'm not wearing my wedding ring. He wasn't wearing one either. But, I mean, that doesn't matter. I mean, I'm still legally married. Or there's people in a, hap in a like, a happy marriage, right, that are don't wear wedding rings and stuff like that. So, but, you know, I just figured I'll flirt back, right? I mean, he wasn't my type or nothing like that. But then, uh... So then he was saying how, this is how it's a small world. He was saying how like there's this girl that works in here as a chef, you know, she's happily married and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm like, oh yeah, what's her name? And then when he said her name, I'm like, I know that name. And then, um, so I was telling him, I was like, you know, my son, my youngest son, um, his cousin would be his second cousin because it's Isaiah's dad's first cousin is a, a chef for celebrities real life he has his own business he's very well known and um, I was like his last name is Harmon and anyway we were talking and he was like what anyway, it's just a small world and then the girl came and I went to school with her so I known her from school it, it was just like you know I, I don't know it's just a very small world I'm gonna call Isaiah and see if he wants anything to eat because like I said, I am, I'm not cooking. I am getting, I'm gonna start to where I'm not used to cooking and not wanna cook anymore. Tomorrow I did say I'm gonna make steak um, with uh, like we got mushrooms and fried onions and all that kind of stuff. stuff. Um, but yeah, okay, what am I doing? I'm calling Isaiah. Oh, my friend Jason texted me. Remember Jason? Do you guys remember I met him in Atlantic City? Uh, my friend Jody. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. If you're watching, I'm vlogging. I do see. Um, okay, let's call Isaiah. Let me, he's not going to answer the FaceTime. 
Ah, uh, it's not gonna let me do it. Let's see. I know this vlog's all over the place. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Are you sleeping? No. Oh. Uh, do you want anything to eat? I'm on my way home. I just have to stop at the post office and then. You are sleeping. It is after three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I know, I could tell. Do you want anything? No. You want like Taco Bell, uh, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, Burger King? I don't know, Popeye's, what? I don't know, I'm hungry. All right, how about I stop at Taco Bell and just get tacos and you can eat it later? Cause I'm up by the mall, so. They're stuck at eating them later. Huh? I said they're trash when you eat them later. All right, so you don't want anything then? Now? That's what I'm saying. You don't want anything. No. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Let me call Tyler. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get me something to eat. I'm always hungry though. Like, not always hungry, but I'm always in the mood to eat. Hello? Yeah. Do you want anything to eat before I come home? I'm getting ready to come home. No, I wanna, I'd rather have a pepperoni milk. Okay. All right, bye. Yeah, he, he's getting in the habit of me making these pepperoni melts every day. That is Tyler. I showed a picture of him. I'll put it up here that I found from four years ago when my mom was still alive. They were still in the rental house when the house fire, they were still fixing up the, um, the house. And we were so tired because we were taking turns, um, you know, like staying up or what have you. And we were so tired and I found that picture. So what, he was 23 then, he's 27 now. It's so funny. So, you know, my kids are biracial, right? And every time, like, me and Tyler go out, especially a lot of older women and men, Spanish, you know, or that speak Puerto Rican or what, I, I don't know. Like, they start talking Spanish to him. They think that he's Spanish, like, or, you know, uh, and they, they do. They, and he's like, I don't understand. <laughs> my son has a lot of uh, Indian in Lenape, if I'm saying that correctly, Indian. Um, and on our mom, my mom's side, we have Cherokee Indian, but they have a lot to where uh, Tyler's grandmother, his dad's mom, um, is in the tribe. And she's right here. And like, so he has a lot in him. And um, of course, black too from his grandfather's side. But. Um, and I always tell Tyler, Tyler, let's do the paperwork because he has enough in him that he can get a lot of funding and different things like Indian in him, native, you know, Indian. And, uh, but he's, but it's, a, I don't know my dad's side and they want to know everything, you know, cause you have to have a certain percentage. Um, and I don't know really my dad's side, but, and then he don't want to do it anyway. So now Lexi, she just looks black. I mean, and when she tells her friends or whatever, like, oh, my mom's white, they're like, nah, -uh. or when she introduces me, they're like, that's your mom. <laughs> and Isaiah, he looks white, but maybe Italian, right? He's got the blue eyes, but you know, he's got the like nice full lips, nice, like he's, you know, you could tell he's mixed with something, but he looks more white. Does that make sense? Like all my kids look so different, but they all favor me a little bit, if that makes sense, you know? What was my point? I don't even know why I started talking about it. Let's get a little traffic. So I'm going to cut the camera off and I'll be back. realized the way I can fix the block the sun I I turned my camera this way but I don't know if I'm crooked but I noticed now I'm blocking where that sun you know how that little thing that comes and I look funny and I'm like oh if I could just do it like this I have to look in editing because I might look a little slanted I don't know but if I don't then I think I just fixed the problem it only took me a whole year to I don't think I did well I got happy for a minute all right I am home I did not go to the post office. No, I didn't. I'll go tomorrow. Because I'm like, it's already past 3.30. I got to hurry up. I think I'm going to film my little Ipsy bag. I'm going to film it back here. 
I think that's what I'm going to do and then get changed and then work on the hedging. And I'll try to film a little bit of that, but I'll put that in the next vlog, you know. And um, yeah, that's everything. Please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it. That helps me out as well. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really does help out with engagement. Let me know what you think of those fences. Please let me know. Um, and then also that greenery. And like, you know, I can still put flowers going up, but just for like the background, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the last, I think it's the second to the last video. It says backyard renovation facing my fears I'll leave the video in the description box and then you'll know what I'm talking about that little area and that's everything guys stay beautiful stay blessed stay healthy and most importantly always stay you no matter what never let anybody change your character and I will see you in my next video bye guys